What's up everyone, I'm Kyler Holland and today I'm gonna to be showing you a Roto Mosaic glitch effect. It's pretty sick, easy, and fun. So before we start, click that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments because I would really appreciate some feedback. Let's show you what it looks like. Ah, well that was cool. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, click that like button. I'd really appreciate it. But before we start, this effect is kind of hard to do, but it's also not hard to do once you understand a couple basic steps. Now it is pretty taxing on your computer, so bear with me and bear with your computer because it will take a long time to render and do a couple things that we're gonna need to do within After Effects. With that said, let's just jump onto the computer. All right, well, we're in Premiere, and this is the clip that we're gonna be working with. In order to do this effect, we actually have to isolate this man, right here in the center. Now, it would be very complicated to manually add a mask around this guy and keyframe that. So what we're gonna do is actually use rotoscoping in After Effects. So since I'm going to be using this layer as the roto layer or the layer to key him out, I'm actually gonna hold Alt or Option on a Mac and drag up so I can copy that layer. So I know that one of these is gonna be the roto layer. I'm gonna right click on the top layer and go to rename and just name that roto. So I know that that's the roto layer. And then right click on that top layer and go to replace with After Effects composition. And then as soon as you open up After Effects, you're gonna to wanna to save this somewhere that you can remember. So I'm just gonna name this Roto 2.0 since I already did this earlier. And save it somewhere that you can remember this for later, if you need it. So now that we have After Effects open, all we have to do is start rotoscoping. So go to a clean frame. If you wanna to go to the beginning, you can do that, or you can go somewhere in the middle. I like going all the way to the beginning and then going up to the top and selecting this Roto Brush tool. What you can do is double click on your video layer and that will bring this into the layer view. Now you can hold control and click the mouse to increase or decrease the size, which is pretty cool. And you can scroll on your mouse wheel to zoom in and hold space and click and drag to move around your image. In order to rotoscope this image, all you need to do is click and drag around your subject. Adjust the size of your brush and click around your subject, it'll start to create all these little purple edges. And as you can see, it grabbed the subject over here. So what you wanna do is hold Alt or Option on a Mac and just kinda draw the area that you don't want it to grab. Now that we kinda have a clean roto or a clean outline, all you have to do is hit the space bar. Now, when you hit the space bar, you'll notice that it starts going through. And if your image is a nice clean track, this will be perfect. Now, sometimes it might just like that go all over the place. So all you have to do is hold control and the back arrow key a couple times till your rotoscope goes out of line. And then all you have to do is draw that roto again and adjust it accordingly. Remember, hold alt to remove certain sections of your rotoscope. Just click and drag to add this on. Now, once you get to where you want, you're gonna to wanna to hold control on the right arrow key to go a couple frames in that direction just to make sure that the roto is good before you continue on. And if everything's good, just hit the space bar and continue to watch your roto. Now, you'll notice that every time it flashes, my rotoscope actually goes away. So I actually have to add my rotoscope in every time there's a flash, which is kind of annoying, but if you use a clean footage, you won't have to do this every time. So yeah, just keep going through your image and making sure the roto is clean and then I'll come back at the end. So now it has finished and you can actually toggle these layers to see your actual rotoscope and see if you like it. If you do, all you have to do is click this freeze button. This freeze button will go frame by frame and make sure that your rotoscope will not move with any more adjustments and it will take some time. Also, before you freeze your layer, you can also adjust the feather and contrast over here on the left-hand side if you want to adjust the outline of your rotoscope. 
Now that our roto is complete, you can actually go back to the composition view and play it back to see your rotoscope. You can get a better edge by using the refine edge or adjust the settings over here. But since we're creating a glitch effect, this will do fine. Now all you have to do is click file, save within After Effects and then minimize After Effects and go back into Premiere. If I unhide my video one layer, you can see that this is our rotoscoped layer. So if we adjust that video one layer by moving things around, obviously it will only affect the background. Now this is where the mosaic effect comes into play. All you have to do is go into the effects tab and type in mosaic and drag on that mosaic effect to our bottom video layer or our background video layer. And now this is the fun part. All I really do is go a couple frames and add a keyframe. First, you have to click the toggle animation button, go a couple frames, adjust this keyframe, click a random number, move this around. Anywhere from a one to a thousand is where I like to keep things when I'm playing around with this effect. Now I'll keep doing this for as long as I like. And then once I get somewhere towards the middle, I'll actually just highlight all these keyframes and hold Alt or Option on a Mac and then just copy them for the rest of the transition. And then I will highlight all of them, right click and select hold. That will make sure that all these effects jump around like that. Now I'll repeat this same process for the bottom one. Click the toggle animation button, go a couple frames, adjust these keyframes all over the place to get something that you like. Now, if you are editing to audio, you can control these mosaic settings to make them more flashy on like such things as a bass drop. Now I'm gonna highlight all those keyframes, hold Alt on a PC or or option on a Mac and just click and drag those to fill out the entire video. Right click on them and go to hold. Now if we play this back you can see that we actually have created the mosaic effect. Now in order to sell this a little bit more you can actually add a scaling effect on the person or your subject if you like as well as adding another mosaic effect onto that top roto layer. Now I'm going to add a couple keyframes and I don't really want this thing to be too crazy so I'm going to keep it typically above 200, just because I don't really need it to be all over the place, but it is a nice feature to have if you want to play with and adjust these settings around. Now, if you play this back, you can actually see that we have created the mosaic glitch effect. And if you don't want your roto layer to be blurry or have mosaics, you can simply adjust the keyframes by increasing your mosaic layers or just deleting the mosaic effect all together. Well, that's pretty much it. So it's awesome, but it requires a little work on the front end, but I promise you once you understand rotoscoping and use After Effects Rotoscope 2.0, you will love it because you can take out anything and mess around with the background, apply different effects. So with that said, if you guys have any ideas for a future effect using Rotoscope 2.0, let me know because I definitely think we can make some dope stuff with this in the future. That's all I have time for for today. So if you liked today's video, click that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments down below because I'm always trying to make some sick stuff and I'd love to hear from you. If you make something, send it to me on Instagram at Kyler Holland. And as always, subscribe if you're new because I'll be making some more stuff in the future. I'll see you next time. Peace.